Hello, I'm Martin Zaros. I'm Vice President at Carolina Biological Supply, but I was trained as an organic chemist and I spent two years teaching high school chemistry. I'm going to show you a demonstration that for me was a really good demonstration because it allowed me to teach a concept that I had difficulty teaching while in the chemistry lab, and that was electrolysis. Now, I would use this during electrolysis, but you can also use it to teach reduction and oxidation reactions. This can also be used to teach about hydrogen cells because hydrogen cells takes hydrogen and oxygen to form water. This is really the reverse reaction where you're taking water and you're splitting it apart to form hydrogen and oxygen. Now to do this reaction, we need a couple different things. A petri dish, you can use a glass petri dish or a plastic petri dish, doesn't matter. We're going to use a universal indicator, a little bit of sodium sulfate that is going to be used to help the ion exchange in between the two uh, electrodes. Just a little tad, just so there's some ions in the water, which is the third ingredient, just a plain water. I used a DI water and then I add this to add some ions. If you want to use tap water, that's fine also. To actually provide the energy for electrolysis, we're going to use a simple 9 volt battery. You can either use the little caps that are on here that have a red and black type of wire here. We can use this as electrode or we can use simple alligator clips. We can use a piece of pencil lead and use that as electrode also. Okay, we have our glass petri dish here and I'm going to start by just adding a little bit of water add a few drops of universal indicator. This is a good time for me to also talk to you about the safety precautions here because really the only safety precautions we have to really worry about here are with the universal indicator. Universal indicator is an alcohol solution. You can see as I'm adding it to here, some of the, al the ethyl alcohol is evaporating. That's pretty cool if you ask me. Safety for this. Ethyl alcohol is a flammable liquid. It's also toxic by ingestion and inhalation. Make sure there's no flames or hot surfaces anywhere around here when we're doing this demonstration. We also want to make sure that we have good ventilation in the lab and that we do not ingest this. So after we're done using this, it's going to go back into the storeroom. Next, I'm going to add just a small amount of sodium sulfate. I need some ions in here to help conduct the charge going back and forth. I'm going to bring my 9 volt battery. I have got uh, two pieces of the pencil lead attached to the alligator clips. And I'm going to just put these into the Petri dish. And let's just watch. The orange is an indication where it's a very acidic solution, probably a pH 4. So I am producing H plus ions on this end where the red is. And the black electrode is forming a base or hydroxide ions. We can kind of play with these a little bit and make kaleidoscopes in here. We can play in lab as long as it's done safely. The last part I want to show you is cleanup. And cleanup is very easy because I'm going to take these guys out. Beautiful colors, but if I mix all this up, guess what I'm going to come back to? My starting green color. I've created the same amount of hydrogen ions as I have hydroxide ions. I get back to a neutral solution. As promised, I want to talk about the chemistry that's occurring in this very cool reaction. So let's start about a really brief introduction to oxidation reduction. The way I remember oxidation reduction is very simply, Leo the lion goes ger. If it loses electrons, it's oxidation. If it gains electrons, it's reduction. The second thing I try to remember is red cat and ox. And let's look at the two reactions that are occurring here. At one, I have water. It is producing a base. So if I look at this, to balance this equation, I need something like this. Let's look at the hydrogen in particular. I have hydrogen going from a plus charge here to a zero charge there. This hydrogen is gaining electrons, going from plus one to zero. If I'm gaining electrons, I'm undergoing reduction. If I'm going undergoing reduction, that's the cathode. And so in this reaction, where I had the 
the bright purple color, which meant I was producing a base, I was also producing the hydrogen, this purple color indicated that a reduction was occurring. That was a cathode. The other reaction I have going on is water going to H plus plus O2. I'm sorry, with two waters, be making four H pluses to make sure I'm balanced here. To the oxygen, this starts out at a minus two and goes to a zero. This is losing electrons. It's going from minus two charge to a zero charge. I'm losing electrons. This is my oxidation. Here, this was going to be an orange color. The orange was producing an acid, doing this reaction, which was the oxidation reaction, which was occurring at the anode. This demonstration is, again, one of my favorite demonstrations because it's colorful and it clearly shows what's happening at the elemental level in this reaction. I really want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll try it. I hope it helps you and your students with this very complex reaction. Thank you again. Have a great day. The instructions for this activity and more videos will be available online at carolina.com resources.